All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Skur Ritual. We are on House of the Damned. Let's get straight into it. All right, step one, you're pretty much going to want to work your way over here, right? Pretend like you're escaping the house, bam. But we actually aren't escaping, we're trapped. So we need to go turn on the power now. So we got to flick this switch. Now once we do that, a code is going to pop up. We're going to need to input that code, so 465. It's going to be switches, so we need to look for 4, which is going to be upstairs. And it's going to be, I think, at the very top. 465, which is going to be all the way over here. Here's 4. We need to look for 6. Which is going to be right here. And we're going to go back downstairs for 5. Damn. Now we come flick the power switch. Now we just sit in here until it is activated. Be careful about the zombies, dude. Alright, now we gotta go upstairs and restore gas to the house. Activate this. And we need to wait for those gas zombies to spawn and then basically kill them inside the circle. I think when you activate this, one will spawn automatically. You just have to wait for that gas zombie to get in here and you kill it, then start the next round. Now, this is RNG based, so the gas zombies can take forever to spawn in on other rounds. And you could be going to a high round for a while. But now to start the next round. Yeah. So we got another one on round four, that's good. There we go. Need one more, thank god. Perfect. Alright. Now that these white X's I was telling you about, you want to go around and start meleeing them. Which will one shot open them. You can shoot at them, but meleeing takes less time. And you need to find five of them with levers in them. Once you find them, just flick the levers. Alright, and we just need one more. Perfect. Now remember, you only want to do this step after you filled up the gas here. You do not want to do it beforehand. Once you do that, you're going to come down here and you're going to see 150. That doesn't necessarily matter, but there's going to be these three spinning dials that I believe their numbers equal 150. So you want to hit all three of them, but it's a timed event. So there's going to be one here, downstairs, and then at the very top. Sometimes I can get lost when trying to find the one upstairs. Because it is kind of hidden. But it is upstairs. Here it is. We'll turn that one as fast as we can. We're going to drop. We're going to come in here. Bam. And hit this one. And perfect. Now there's going to be a matching game here that you're going to have to do. Um, so once you do that, you activate it. And you're going to head down here. You're going to hit this button. And you're going to haul ass to the back. I know it's dark. This code's gonna light up, so Poseidon, Dragon, Cat, Girl. That will change, most likely for you. So, Poseidon, Dragon, Cat, Girl. There we go. Once that opens up, you're gonna have to get their intestines from the zombies and put them inside. You only have to get five of them, which is pretty easy to do. Just be careful though, it can get a little bit hectic down here. Boom, boom. 
And once you're done with that, you can pretty much go outside now. And the power is activated to the house, so you can start buying perks. So the first perk you want to really buy is Swift Death, so you can get that increased um, bullets. And that DPS is going to go up. And then you also want to head upstairs into this room here. It's going to be blocked from both sides, but this is extra health. Extra health is going to be good for this map for sure. And then all the other ones are pretty much scattered around the area. But now you can exit the house. And you're going to want to go interact with this little altar over here. This rock, basically. Now we need to go acquire three materials, basically. So we're actually going to start off with this one over here. You can start with whichever one, but this one isn't bad. We're going to come over here, grab this old lady's head. Watch out for uh, Mr. Thomas. Pretty much going to kill him. So now that Thomas is out of the way, you're going to take the mother's head here. You're going to go down into the basement here, right? And you're going to come here, interact with this. Now you want to die here. And you're going to be like, no, I don't want to die, but it's all right. You'll basically get revived after this step for free. And you get to still keep your token. So once you die, this hidden pathway is going to open up, right? You're just going to come down here, interact with the book, and bam, you're back alive. Now, we need to search and destroy for the seals protecting the book. So we're going to have to take Mother's Head. In order to find the seals, just listen for the sound they make. And I think they're mainly inside the house upstairs and on the first floor. So here's one. Now, there's only three that really spawn, so you don't got to worry about finding the wrong one. There's only three. There's another. Oh, I was wrong. There is one that spawns down here. There it is. Okay. So, once you find all those symbols, there's only three. Keep in mind. Work your way back down here and pick up the book. Once you do that, you're pretty much good. Head back up and place the book down, and you can start on the next objective. We are going to keep a couple dogs alive to do this next step. Just so we don't have to keep uh, passing rounds randomly. Okay, so this one isn't bad, and you're just going to interact with the cross here on the well. And once you do that, you come over to this little coffin place it there and then there's going to be four of these little um statue things that you need to these urns that you're going to need to destroy and they spawn randomly so I just go around finding them you'll know you're near when you hear it spawn so here's number three here's number four And that's pretty much it for that. Then you work your way back to the coffin and grab your dynamite. Place it on the well here and fucking haul ass. Alright, so once this is blown up, pop down the well here. And here's the wonder weapon. So we're going to want to acquire corpse grinder. Watch out for the dogs though. There's like a shit ton that just spawn in. Alright, so... You're going to use the new wonder weapon, the corpse grinder, to shoot these guys and grab their insides, basically. They're going to be marked all over the place, so only three of them you need. There we go. Once we get all three, we're going to head back outside. And we're going to place all of the intestines in here, or their hearts, basically. Alright, and we can do the last objective, which is back inside. So 
So now we're going to head over to the fireplace and interact with this family portrait. And now we need to defeat the trio, basically. So what that means is uh, Abraham, Thomas, and uh, Isaac are going to spawn in. So we got to kill them. Or actually, Abraham, Isaac, and the stranger, not Thomas. But as long as you have your pack-a-punch weapon, these guys should be fairly easy to take out. I'm not sure how much damage the Wonder Weapon does to these guys, but we can test it out here. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, the Stranger is always the slowest here, so... He likes to take a sweet time. There we go. So place. So once you kill all three of them, you'll get the uh, stuff there. And we just got to spill blood. Make sure you have ammo. You want to spill blood inside the circle here, which isn't too bad. You just got to be careful. Alright, so once you complete that, pick up the family portrait and work your way back outside. We're gonna place that here. And by the boom, by the bing. Now we need to equip the head. And now we have to escort this uh, Fada here. And we take Fada around the map. Let's go, Fada. The first spot he goes to is up here. But now we just need to kill zombies in here, so. Alright, so once you do that, we're going to have to escort Fodder again. Now we got to escort Fodder again. Take him inside. And we start here, but before we do that, we're going to go upstairs and actually get Stallion so we can move a little bit faster. Now we can actually go inside. I'm going to use the Wonder Weapon here to... Trying to take him out. Alright, Fodder. Go, go, go. Holy shit. Yeah, he's going upstairs. You know. Oh, shit. Okay. Die. Die, dogs. Die. Okay, that was actually pretty quick with the dogs. Okay, where'd he go now? Oh, he spawns over here. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's actually pretty bad. So you gotta go down here in the dark. And it's like, bro, I can hardly see down here. And if you turn up your brightness, then it, you should be fine. But this one's definitely not the best. Okay, insta-kill is actually goaded. Oh my god. Get out of here! Where's father at? Go, father, go! God damn it, you're gonna get me killed, you... Where'd he go? I think he goes this way, yeah. Kill, you bastard. Might as well take that. Alright, so once he gets escorted to the rock, he's there, but we're actually going to take care of the abomination situation first. Alright, there we go, and the boss fight is pretty much available now. 
I'm going to kill some of these zombies so then they're not really an issue when we're doing the boss fight. I'm also going to pack a punch one more time. Hopefully we have enough. And we'll go into the boss fight. Once you get in here, you're stuck, so just keep that in mind. I'm just going to spray and pray, baby. Watch out because he does shoot out saws that bounce around the map. Which can get kind of annoying. The more health he loses, the faster he gets. So keep that in mind as well. Like, this man is fucking beating Gonzalez over here. And then also he sets the floor on fire. Which isn't too bad, necessarily. You just gotta keep that in mind. I think the main thing you want to worry about is the saws. That is pretty much it for House of the Damned. We completed the main story, but we are definitely going to be doing the side quest here. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.